in this video I will sh be showing how you can change the color uh, in PowerShell and by color I mean the color of the background of the PowerShell as well as the color of different types of the text that you see in the PowerShell like uh, error keyword comment operator variables etc et like they have different colors so we can modify each and every color uh, based on the type of the uh, text that is shown so let's open uh, PowerShell so Windows X and uh, I can just press I and I'll open a normal Windows PowerShell okay so changing the background is very simple like you have you can see here that instead of the default blue background I have a brown background for that all you have to do is click on the icon here on the top left corner then go to properties and in properties here is the screen background so click on screen background and then choose whatever color you want to choose or you can just enter the value like red green blue whatever like I entered the value because I did not like any of the colors here so that you can do uh, then click on OK and it will be saved so that is about changing the background color now let's come to the text part so for that what we have to do uh, is uh, let's first enter a command get ps read line option and when we enter this command let me maximize it so when we are when we type in this command we can see the color that has been set for a different types of like for command it is yellow for comment you can see like dark green type and similarly like for a uh, selected it will be like this and for string it will be magenta uh, I had enter magenta so yeah variable would be light green but uh, this keyword is different kind of light green only this is cyan cyan whatever and these are white and red for error yeah so that's it now what we want to do is uh, modify some of these like I've already modified some uh, like if I want to modify the comment color let me change it to magenta like this one so what I can do is uh, uh, so uh, you can just type in dollar profile and this will give you the path of the profile uh, file of the the file that contains the profile of the PowerShell so by default this file is not generated this file is not present so like if you want to check if this file is present for you or not what you can do is uh, simply test path and dollar profile when you do like uh, for me this returns true but for you it should return if you have not created this file it should return false so if it returns true then you can uh, skip the next step and simply open the file and edit it okay but if it returns false then you will have to create this file and to create this file what you have to do is you need to enter a command and we can do, uh, do that from uh, this PowerShell only so for that uh, what we need to do is uh, type in new item and then um, the path will be like path is uh, dollar profile so we are not entering the path manually or the file name it will be taken like this part is the file name and the remaining is the path so uh, dollar profile so we have entered the path and then uh, item type so item item type is uh, type is file only so uh, enter file uh, and if you press enter new file uh, with this name will be created at that location I will not press enter because uh, it is showing true for me so only if it is showing false this one is false only then you should enter this command and it will create a new file uh, in this path and file name that is provided in the dollar profile so let me press backspace and delete this one now once we have this file created we need to open it so for that we'll open mm, like notepad.exe we can just open it from here only and profile so when I press enter this should open now when it opens for you if you have just created the file then obviously it will be empty like I have entered some details here but this should be empty for you you will not see anything here uh, just a blank page so what you have to do is like uh, this first line this last line sorry 
this last line the first and the last line should be the same as what you are seeing here okay apart from these two you can add any other property in here like string operator parameter and then uh, system dot console color and then whatever color you want so you can edit this part and the color part so like uh, I have and I have modified the color for string operator and parameter so now if I now how do you know what uh, things like uh, you can modify so if I open uh, PowerShell and this is the command like get PS read line option when we had typed this one so you can see like this is operator color then it is parameter then it is selection so like selection string so like I want to change for comment so this is comment right so what I'll do is I'll just uh, type in uh, sorry, dollar colors and then it was comment so in single chord course uh, I think it was comment only not comments and then is equal to system dot color and then uh, let me keep it magenta only so like uh, I've done this and I just have to save the file control s and this file will be saved or you can just go here and save it file and uh, save so that will do the job or just uh, close it and you'll get an option to save it so once you have saved that you can close that file uh, it is not required and if you close that file if you have saved this file and then let me close it and open a new Windows X and I and uh, this is the keyboard shortcut to open the PowerShell if you do not uh, know this way you can just right click here and then Windows PowerShell click and it will open the same thing it's here okay so uh, yeah like I think I so whatever changes that you have made it should be visible here now the problem is uh, what to do if you want uh, if you get an error uh, like uh, the first time I did it I got an error uh, because the uh, script is not allowed like uh, execution of script is disabled or something like that you'll get an error so what to do if you get that error so for that what you can do is um, you can type in uh, open uh, PowerShell as an administrator like Windows X uh, or right click on the start menu and then a uh, powershell admin so open this as admin press yes then what you have to do is uh, just enter this uh, I'll just paste it so this command you have to enter and as admin when you press enter it should not uh, yeah so you'll get y for yes so just press y press enter and uh, like it is telling you that uh, there is a risk but uh, I don't know I wanted to change the color so I pressed uh, y and it, w it should work and then you can close this one and now if you open it so like Windows X and I that's what I do to open it now if you open it so it was not showing error for me because I had already done that step but it might show that error and if you see that error just do this and error will disappear okay so now like whatever color I want uh, for string it is magenta so I can change it for parameter it is uh, cyan uh, so yeah like that only and for keyword it will be like yellow so whatever for command sorry command is yellow so yeah that's uh, all about it thank you